Many professional athletes are prone to tennis elbow, which can be caused by a direct injury or impact to the arm or forearm or repeated use of those muscles, leading to small tears of the tendons. The pain due to these injuries can often cause professional athletes to watch from the sidelines as their body properly heals. Today we visit Dr. Rhonda Bosheron, sports medicine orthopedic surgeon and athletic trainer, to tell us more about tennis elbow injuries. It usually involves the extensor muscle group, which is the muscle group that allows extension of the fingers and the wrist. Usually you can get this injury after extensive load to this muscle group and that there's a traumatic tear or micro trauma that occurs with chronic use or poor biomechanics of motions used to extend the wrist or the fingers. The symptoms usually are pain right at the outside of the elbow that can move below or above the elbow. It is usually quite severe and the pain can radiate down into the hand. Tennis elbow, which is really common in a lot of sports, obviously more common with tennis, is an irritation of this tendon up here in the forearm. The first thing to do is your rice, right? Rest, ice, compression, elevation, right? To get this tissue calmed down. The second thing is to try to work on some exercises because it is secondary to the strain. So we need to work on strengthening the muscles to prevent or reduce the incidence of those injuries. Some of the strengthening exercises we're going to review. And actually one of the areas that you need to strengthen is the shoulder. Not many people think about that. But we have two exercises with the shoulder. One, the external rotators, really important muscle group in the shoulder to help reduce incidence of injury in the elbow. And two is, it's called horizontal abduction. So you're going to put his, el his elbow on his knee, and we're going to slowly lower it down, controlling the fall, and then come back up. So that's external rotation, right? And it goes out to here, and he slowly lowers it down, doing the eccentric loading to these posterior muscles back here. And again, we want to find a weight. We can do, what, five or six, uh, six or eight times. Progress uh, to two, two sets. We progress to three sets of 12 or 15 max. So three sets of 15 is max. If you can do that with no problem, you drop back down to six or eight and add more weight. Always challenging the muscle to build back stronger. When we exercise, we tear down muscle, we want to build it back stronger. This one is going to exercise all those rotated cuff muscles. Thumb up position and lift it up to here. It's called horizontal abduction, right? And down again, slow. So again, to here, you don't, need, you don't need to jam the shoulder up and go all the way up there, just right to that position, just a little short of parallel to the floor, back down again. Believe it or not, the thumb up position is really important to isolate some of these muscle groups. Keep these tips in mind when you prepare for sports and want to stay strong and healthy. I'm Molly Sullivan with SportsMD.com. Remember, at SportsMD, health equals performance.